welcome to another episode here on Your Digital Makeover. My name is Jerry Colbert, and in today's episode, we're going to be talking about tags in Tick Tick. Coming up next. So in today's episode, we're going to be going over tags here in Tick Tick. It's just going to be a short video, just kind of get you accustomed to what tags are and why I think they're kind of useful uh, in your everyday productivity. Okay. So if you see here, we have the inbox opened up. What are tags? Well, tags, you can utilize them to tag your to-do list or to-do item right so let's say for instance I was to say um, I was to say well let's uh, go to uh, Kroger right and then I was to go over here I could add it to my inbox right or add a priority add a date to it or what have you right well let's say I just enter that in there right now for uh, for this purpose all right now, I can right click on that and hit tags and then go ahead and enter Kroger. But you're like, well, why are you gonna have it there and there too? Aha, well, there comes in the useful thing with tags. So maybe I don't say go to Kroger, right? Maybe I wanna use, utilize tags. Maybe I say purchase groceries, right? So now, if I right click here, and go to tags I can say Kroger but conversely I can type in here because I have another tag called errands and I can tag these like that and you see it shows up Kroger errands and then I could add more tags if I wanted to so why would that be helpful well let's say I have several different things I need to do for errands maybe I need to go to the bank right maybe I need to um, I don't know uh, go to dinner right so I could tag all of these um, obviously not with Kroger but with errands something that I am doing outside of wherever I'm at right and go to bank and so I could say tags and I go errands and then let's say I have other things in my in my to-do list maybe I have work on novel um, take dog for a walk and I have other things in there right but let's say for instance I don't want to see all you know I got all this maybe I got 20 items in here maybe I just want to see what I have for errands right so I can just click on errands and it shows me right and what's really cool is when um, you put dates on these so let's go back here and let's say I put that in for today where am I at today right there right and I put that in for today right got this for today and let's just put these in here for today as well right And so let's say I just want to, I have a long list of stuff there and I just want to see what the errands are for today, right? Well, I could do that again or I could go to my custom filter and hit errands for today and voila, there they all are. Kind of just sparses them down into a nice little list for me so I don't have to be, you know, sometimes you get these long lists or long uh, to-do items and everything's just all conglomerated together and it's just a big mess, right? And you just want to kind of narrow it down so you can focus on whatever your task is of the day or the, of that moment, right? And you want to kind of narrow it down. So this is a good way you can utilize tags in your descriptions uh, on your to-do list items. So uh, hopefully that was um, informative um like and you know also i before i forget how do you add tags well you can just hit add tag and it can add them and you can add colors to them and everything right 
you can uh, put a, a parent tag onto a tag and we'll go into that in later episodes that's a little bit more advanced features but basically that's a way you can utilize tags another thing is by the way let's say um, you went and you wanted to create a tag for this one right and maybe the tags not in your list right so you can just start typing out whatever the tag that's not in your list and then hit create tag that way so there's another way of creating a tag in tick tick so hopefully that was informative for y'all and if it was please click that like button down below and if you want to see more of these awesome episodes please don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification bell and with that being said i want to wish you all a wonderful week and i'll catch you in the next episode take care